Oh God, it's just so good. To all the beginner musicians, I thank God for y'all. You know I always got to do a video on encouraging the beginner musicians because I had a good question from my boy Tom Tom. <laughs> Big shout out to you about doing this video on fattening. You know, it's an old saying and I heard Steve Harvey say this. In order to succeed, you have to be willing to fail. I love that saying because I'm not scared of failing. Have I failed? Oh yes, plenty times. And I'm going to fail plenty more times because that's how life is. And when you playing or learning how to play, you know, you can't get mad. But you know what? That, what brings that on is the people that always discourage you. And I always stand up and tell the truth. People, quit discouraging the beginning musicians. You're going to always hear somebody say, you need to learn like I learned or you ain't playing that right. So they rather not show you nothing at all. You know, you can be the greatest piano player in the world. And somebody always going to have something negative to say. Because negative is always going to be in this world. That's why I thank God for Jesus. Because God is so good that he sent his son down here. And it's sad that God had sent his son down here to die on the cross for all of us. And this is the way we act. You know, this is the way the world is. But you know what? When judgment day come. But to the beginning musicians, don't be scared to fail. Oh, I look at failing like learning. That's why I love that word, fail. That might sound crazy, but in order to succeed, you got to be willing to fail. And I always like to use people that made it, for example, even even in sports, baseball, basketball, fo football. Look at uh, Babe Ruth. You know, they always talked about Babe Ruth. How many home runs Babe Ruth hit? You know, but if you go back and do the research, nobody never come back and tell you really that look at how many times Babe Ruth had to strike out before he became the greatest on hitting all those home runs. See, nobody looks at that. He struck out more times than he, than home runs he hit. So what am I saying is, we got to strike out a whole lot on our ministry. You got to fail. You got to learn. Learning is a good thing, y'all. And when you fail, that's why I say don't be scared to hit wrong notes. Even on Sunday still to this day, I hit wrong notes because I be trying to play and sing a lot. And you know what I do when I hit a wrong note? I laugh at myself because I'm hitting it wrong, but I know it. And, and, God, is, and God is pleased with me because God know my heart. And we mess up a lot. Don't nobody go to church and play perfect all the time, you know. You might hit a wrong note on accident. You might hit a wrong note on purpose. I might try something in the middle of service, no, no matter what key I'm in, and just try something. And, and it might come out wrong, but I laugh it off and I look at the, you know, the band, and we'll laugh together because we'll say, whoa, because that's how we do when we mess up at church, even in rehearsal. That's why I say a lot of times you mess up on purpose. When I'm in my front room playing, I can't tell you how much I mess up. Even in all those videos I got on YouTube, when I mess up, that don't make me get discouraged and just cut the video off. You know what I said in the video? Y'all excuse me for that wrong note. You know, I, I apologize for that because no one is perfect. In order to succeed, you have to be willing to fail. The beginner musicians, y'all stay in carriage. Y'all keep on playing. Y'all keep studying. That's why I say much given, much required. You know, you're going to get out what you put in. You can't be lazy. Quit quit being a lazy musician. Quit depending on everybody to, to tell you what to do or show you what to do. You got to get crazy with it. That's what I did. Sometimes you got to get mad at it. When I got mad at the keyboard is when I really started learning it because I ain't got mad at the fact that nobody wanted to show me nothing no more. You know, that's why I know what y'all go through beginner music. And you're not as much of a beginner as you think y'all. I see a lot of people on here call themselves beginners and they ain't nowhere near beginners because they are so advanced but don't even know it because of what somebody done told them. I can't play like you. You can't play like me. I'm going to never play like you. I don't want you to play like me, but what I want you to do is learn from me and mix it with your own style. That's why you hear me, con I don't like to compare, but you'll hear me say, oh, I learned this from Jamal, but this is the way I do it. But that was a unique way that Jamal showed me how to put it. I might take three or four cards from Jamal and take three or four of my own and mix them together, and it makes a unique sound. And, and I look at Jamal because I would never play like Jamal, and Jamal won't play like me. I won't play like P.J. Morgan. See, you got organs, pianos, 
keyboards. Some people are organists. Some people are pianists. Some people don't even like to get on the organ. You know, a lot of people don't like to get on the piano. A lot of people like to stay on the keyboard. Me, I try to get on all three of them and learn all three of them because I love them. And everybody think I'm a keyboard man. Really, I'm a baby grand man. I love the piano better than the, I love the piano better than the keyboard and the organ. I, I'm sorry because I'm a worshiper and I like to I like to have a piano and I love to have a saxophone on the side with me because I, I play a lot of smooth stuff. But that's me. But what I'm saying is learn all of them. Learn all you can. Don't be scared to fail. You know whatever you do, not just playing the keyboard. Even in life, your goals, your dreams, set them high. Don't be scared to fail. You know, that's why the Bible say man fell down seven times. You know, Donald McClurk made the song, Get Back Up Again. We fall down, you know. But it's sad that when we do fall down, nobody is there to try to pick us up. That's why we got God to pick us up. But it would be so encouraging if our brothers and sisters would get on one accord and when they see their brother or sister down, they reach down to help them up. Or, oh, sister, what, what, what are you trying to learn on this song? How can I be a help? Not trying to tell you what to do, but this is how I will play it. You know, what set of cards would I do right here? I have no problem showing you that because believe it or not, y'all, JT, when he's out, when I'm out, I ask a lot of questions. I look at so many musicians, that's why I know it's I know how you feel when you ask somebody a card and they'll close the organ up on you and get out of there. Or they'll tell you, oh man, learn like I did. I can't give you that one, man. That's one of my fattest cards. Come on, y'all. Why are you a blessing? To be a blessing to somebody else. So to the beginner musicians, don't be scared to fail. To everybody in life, don't be scared to fail. You know, in order to succeed, be willing to fail because everything don't happen on your time and it got to happen on God's time. So when you do fall, count it all joy. <laughs> when you fall in the dive of temptation, count it all joy. Y'all know what that means. Count everything, Joy. Don't look at nothing negative. Look at more positive than negative. When you fail, be positive about it. Don't give up and say, I ain't going to try it no more. I'm not going to be a minister of music no more. I'm not going to be a director no more. I give up. I let these people discourage me because I'm not good as they are. I'm going to tell you something right now. There is nobody really in this world better than nobody because ain't nobody greater than God. You might see somebody that you think they doing something a whole lot better than you, but that's fine. But don't think like that so much. Just look at it as that. That's what they good at. Because I guarantee you, where you are strong at, they are weak at. And where somebody else is weak at, you are strong at. So be thankful for what God has gifted you with. And take it, take it to the highest. And thank Him for it every chance you get. Because you could not have that. Instead of folks complaining, start thanking God for what you do have. Don't be scared to fail. Be blessed.